Here in our area, it was back to school for the city's 1 million plus students. Students headed back to classes ready to begin another school year. Mayor Bill de Blasio is visiting schools in all five boroughs today. He started with a ribbon cutting ceremony at a pre-K program on Staten Island as the city continues to expand the pre-K program to include three and four year olds. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett has more live from downtown Brooklyn. N.J. All right, Diana, they're getting a very early start. This is Urban Assembly High School here in downtown Brooklyn. It's the second stop on Mayor de Blasio's five borough tour on this, of course, the first day of the new school year here in New York City. He's using this day to push his signature initiative, which is, of course, early childhood education. And that is why he started his day early on Staten Island at the Richmond 3K Center, greeting three-year-olds and their parents. It's part of the mayor's 3K for all program intended to give kids a jump on kindergarten. So now in many areas of the city, kids are starting school at age three in a program that will eventually expand across the city. This fall, some 20,000 students, Diana, are expected to enroll in 3K. The mayor says it's intended to, so to close the so-called achievement gap. He says AP courses are expanding in the upper grades and that graduation rates in the city are up. Well, for parents, especially parents of the little kids, this is a bittersweet moment. I always told her, oh, you ready for school? And she's like, yeah, mommy, I can't wait to go to school, meet, meet new friends. You first think, are they ready? But then you learn really, really quickly that our youngest kids are like sponges. They're ready to learn so much. So many families need some support to be able to give their children all that they deserve. And having access to early child education makes all the difference. Well, the year is not starting without controversy. Many parents are anxious to know how the mayor and the school's chancellor plan to tackle diversity, how they plan to desegregate America's largest school system. One panel, of course, has recommended ending gifted and talented programs. No specifics today from the mayor or the chancellor, although the mayor has said that any changes he does make would not take place for at least a year. We're going to have much more on the first day of school in New York City on Eyewitness News First at 4 o'clock this afternoon.